Have you ever wondered how scientists communicate with Webb or any other telescope? Many of NASA's spacecraft are exploring our planet, our solar system and beyond. These spacecraft send information and pictures back to Earth using the Deep Space Network, or DSN. The DSN is a collection of big radio antennas in different parts of the world. There are DSN locations near Canberra, Australia, Madrid, Spain, and Goldstone, California. Those sites are almost evenly spaced out around the planet. That means as the Earth turns, we never lose sight of a spacecraft. When any spacecraft send images and other information to these big antennas here on Earth, the antennas also receive details about where the spacecraft is and how it is doing. At the same time, NASA uses the DSN to send lists of instructions out to the spacecraft. But in order to communicate with the DSN, the robotic explorers have a lot to do. The tools they use to communicate can't be too heavy, take up too much room, or use too much power. Small antennas on the spacecraft can beam weak radio signals back to Earth. The farther away a spacecraft is, the larger the antenna you need to detect its signal. The largest antenna at each DSN site is 70 meters, 230 feet, in diameter. The most distant objects that the DSN communicates with are NASA's two Voyager spacecraft. Because the Voyagers are so far away, the signals to the antennas are very weak. In fact, the power that the DSN antennas receive from the Voyager signals is 20 billion times weaker than what is needed to run a digital watch. Engineers have figured out a way to boost those signals so they can be heard loud and clear. However, once the DSN antennas receive the signals, centers at each DSN site receive incoming information. Then, they send it to the Space Flight Operations Facility. So the short answer is, Webb is sending science and engineering data to Earth using a high-frequency radio transmitter. Then, the large radio antennas that are part of the NASA's Deep Space Network will receive the signals and forward them to the Webb Science and Operations Center at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.